Hey guys, I'm over back again. Today I'm going to be comparing Apple's most expensive phone, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, with Samsung's most expensive Galaxy Z Fold 3. And without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 most expensive model is $1900 and you get 512GB. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is $1600 for the 1TB version. So in terms of storage, you get more with the iPhone while spending less. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is 6.7 inches compared to the 7.6 inches for the Galaxy Z Fold 3. And the Z Fold 3 is basically a mini tablet when it is opened up. The Pro Max can actually be uncomfortable to use in one hand due to the fact that it is so big. The Pro model is actually a little bit easier to handle, but if you want the absolute biggest iPhone, then get the Max. And as for the Z Fold 3, it is actually pretty easy to use with one hand when the phone is closed due to the long and narrow display. The Pro Max weigh in at 8.47 ounces compared to the Z Fold 3 at 9.56 ounces. So the iPhone is a little lighter. The iPhone 13 Pro is 2778 by 1284 pixels, which is about 457 ppi compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 3, which is 2208 by 1768. And this is equivalent to 372 pixel per inch. Apple does have the slight edge here, but most consumers wouldn't be able to tell the difference unless you ask them to look for it. But just in general, bigger displays tend to have less PPI. Both phones do have high refresh rates, so there are no differences there. You will notice the high refresh rate when scrolling around or doing some intensive gaming. But if you are just using basic web search and Facebook, you probably wouldn't notice it as much. The screen to body ratio is 87.97% for the iPhone and 88.57% for the Z Fold 3. But we're basically splitting hairs at this point. Samsung does have a slight edge due to them having less bezels but I don't think it's that much of a difference. If you enjoy seeing videos like these please take a moment to like and subscribe. One of the biggest defining features on the Z Fold 3 is the ability to bring it around and use it as a tablet. You can take it out anytime to get an immersive viewing experience. The iPhone 13 Pro will give you one of the best if not the best camera on a smartphone. So it is a personal preference at this point. I would personally lean towards a unique form factor and having a tablet in my pocket with an adequate camera versus getting a really good camera with the same old design. Both phones have the triple camera setup. The iPhone 13 Pro Max does have the new cinematic mode which allows you to change focus depending on the scenery. It can be used to record movies in the near future. Seems like a pretty cool new feature, but I would like to see how this will work in the real world. Overall, if the iPhone is an A, then the Z Fold 3 is a solid B for camera performance. But most average consumers probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference and they have their own personal preferences as well. I had many iPhone users who had the iPhone 12 Pro Max telling me that they liked the photo from my Z Fold camera better. Samsung is running the latest and greatest for Android which is the Snapdragon 888 and the new Apple chip is A15. Uh, Apple definitely have the advantage here in terms of performance. But then again after using the Z Fold 3 for almost a month, I have never experienced any lag or stutter with the phone or any performance issues. In the past, Apple have never had the biggest battery or the most RAMs, but they tend to optimize their phones really well. And I can make the same argument for Samsung in this case, even though the Snapdragon chip is slower than the A15, I had really great performances on the Z Fold 3. I would still give the advantage to Apple for the A15 chip. Apple's running the latest and greatest iOS 15. And once again, it is the personal preference over which ecosystem you like more. Most people already know which side they like and it is not very easy to convince them to switch. Just in general, if you want something that is simple, basic, and just works, then stick with the iPhone. They offer a very well optimized experience with the Apple ecosystem. They have better app support and they also have very frequent updates for security and also their software support. 
Even today, they're still supporting the iPhone 6S from six years ago with the latest and greatest iOS 15 updates. If you like the freedom to explore and customize with your phone, then Android is the better route. It usually tends to have a lot of new features first, even though it may not always be fully optimized. But Android in general is easier to multitask and they tend to have a shorter software support for their phones as well. Although it is getting better over time. I know Samsung is promising three years of support for this phone. And currently they are on Android 11. Android 12 is around the corner. So it should also support 12, 13, and 14. But regardless, I personally prefer the freedom and the ability to customize my phone, but I do understand why people love the Apple ecosystem. The iPhone 13 Pro Max have 6 gigs of RAM compared to the 12 gigs of RAM on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. The edge go to uh, Samsung of course. But once again, having the highest RAM doesn't always necessarily mean the fastest performances. Similar to having the highest megapixel doesn't necessarily mean you will always have the best photos. But for those who want the best specs just to check the box, Samsung got Apple B in this category. The iPhone 13 Pro Max have a 4373mAh battery compared to the 4400mAh battery for Samsung. The Z Fold usually lasts 8 to 9 hours for me with screen on time. And the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it is hard to say until you officially test it in the real world. But my bet would be on Apple to outperform Samsung in this category. Charging speed is slightly disappointing for both phones. The iPhone 12 Max is 20 watt fast charging. The Z Fold 3 is 25 watt fast charging. But regardless, thumbs down to both of these companies for not including the fast charging brick in the box. At the same time, there are many other manufacturers that are, are including 65 to 100 watt fast chargers in the box. The iPhone 13 Pro Max have IP68 dust and water resistant. While the Galaxy Z Fold 3 only have an IPX8 water resistant. Let me know if you will be getting the latest and greatest iPhone 13 Pro Max or will you be trying the new Galaxy Z Fold 3 instead. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.